Okay, I am back with video number two, and I've got the Prisma colors again, and these are my swatches. I do sell just the blank swatches on um, my Etsy at Pam One Stroke, or look it up under Pam Proctor. Now this, we're gonna do a brownish tan brick this time. Again, this is video number two. So if you missed the last one, it was on some uh, reddish colored brick. So this time our colors are 1083, and this is the Petty Beige. And again, these are the colors I'm using. Does not mean you have to use them. 1085, this is Peach Beige. And then I have number 1080 and if you've got my conversion chart there may be conversions on these I didn't even look that up ahead of time I'm sorry 1045 or 945 rather for my darkest brown and then I am going to do all this in between plastered area in the 1093 seashell pink so and I know that seems like a light color but let me show you just what this does. And we'll just start with this this time instead of going last because it's such a light color. I want to go ahead and get that on there for you so that we don't streak through it. And really all I have to do is run that along because this gray scale that I did has enough scaling in it that you're not going to have to do very much shading at all for brick. And again, I would keep all of these in a notebook. Label the colors you're using as you do it. Then when you get to a picture that has a little cottage or stone houses or the likes, you can just go to that book, look at that page, and you already know what is what and where you want to go from there. Okay, so, and again, I told at the end of the other video, I send color copies with the black and white or grayscale. So when you purchase, be sure, be sure that you post me an email message telling me what email you would like your color copies sent to. Because when it shows me that someone has purchased then I know that I can go ahead and get this over to you and you'll be ready to go ahead and start playing right away. Now what I'm going to do in this one that's a little different from the other one is this is my darkest. So I'm going to come in here and anything that's really dark, I'm going to start putting that in. Now if you followed the last video, this is very different from how we did the last one. The other one was a different kind of brick. So again, that's why I encourage you to go ahead and purchase these. I keep my prices down so that um, if you're able to go out and buy high-end books, you're going to be able to, to afford to purchase just a few um, color alongs here that will really help you to, I don't know, get some experience in doing it and set yourself up a tutorials book that's really going to be of some help to you as you start trying to do different pictures and just getting um, some experience under your belt before you tackle a big one and go, oh my goodness, I have no idea how to do bricks. And your bricks that you are going to do on your coloring pages are usually not this large. Now I am zoomed in so that you can see what I'm doing. But um, therefore, your bricks will be a little bit easier. But I'm just here to tell you how I do them and to give you that leg up on actually getting started so that when that page does come along, you don't feel like you're totally lost. So, because over on the Coloring Books Keep It Clean site that I have on Facebook, I put out challenges and 
one of those challenges soon is going to be something that has bricks in it. So I just want to show you how I do bricks before we get to that point. All right, make sense? So I don't promise to always make sense. I'm just, like I said, here to share the way I do things. It doesn't mean it's the only way to do it. It doesn't even mean it's the right way to do it. It just means that for me, it's what works, okay? And each of you will need to find out what works for you. And you may not care that your bricks even look real. And if not, then eh, what are you watching for? Go on, do, do your coloring and have fun. Because um, not everybody wants everything to look like it's real life. And um, that's okay. That's what makes each one of us different. Okay, that's what makes each one of us different. Okay, that was 924. So if this were my YouTube or my tutorial that I was going to keep in a notebook, I would write 924 on or 9, sorry, 945. Um, I would take a black marker and just write 945 on that so that when I went to reference this, I would know what I used. But you would do this whole page that way. All right, in the interest of time, I'm just doing a few. Then we're gonna to go to 1080. That is my next darker color. And I'm gonna come in here and start coloring. And I'm gonna overlap with some of what I just did. Okay, and I, I know it's nothing special to look at right now, but just hang with me on this. We're gonna get this whole top area done, and it should look like a brick wall. Um, in fact, it matches my neighbor's house. So actually, this may be my house. I don't remember. I did so many pictures that day. I went walking with my husband. I was like, wait a minute. It just rained. I don't want you out there walking by yourself with a neck brace on. And I really need to snap some photos for a video. He's like, well, come on, let's go. So I got my phone and actually went up into some people's yards and took some pictures and then came home and manipulated and worked on them for a while, quite a while. And um, this is what I came up with. So, and again, you'll get the color copy to color from. Just be sure that you send me an email address for me to send those to. And you can see I'm, I'm trucking along here pretty good pace. You don't have to be real particular with brick. You just want to make sure that you're blending your colors. And with it being grayscale, it's going to be a little bit easier than if it was just drawn brick. Part of the reason I do the grayscale is so that you can see how splotchy it looks so that when you do get that coloring page that is brick, you know that you can go through and just start doing the splotched and it's gonna be okay in the end, all right? And some of these have more of the darker color, some have more of the light, and um, just go for it, you know? Have fun with it. If you're stressing out over it, don't, okay? I want you to have more fun, not stress. And I know I already did this one some, but I wanted some more up in there. Just going over that dark, going around it, knocking it back a little, leaving those whiter areas alone, because I still have two more colors in my hand for those lighter areas. I'm trying to stay out from in front of the camera, but sometimes my hand will block it. I, uh, there's no way to cut the fingers off and the knuckles off and keep that pencil going. It just is what it is. Get that corner up there done. To me, the brown brick is a whole lot easier than that red that we did the first time because it's just not as many colors. Each brick is more 
like the other than different, if that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to come in and use the 1085, which was my peach beige. Yeah. So now I'm going to go to the next darker color. Okay. So just go in there and start doing the colors. You can see how how particular I am. <clears throat> Not really. So that's how forgiving brick is to color. And again, label these colors. Push pause and just label them as we go. Yeah, I know I didn't do all that brick. I um I don't want to keep going over. I want to stay right in this area so that you can see what I'm doing. But yeah, it's just brick is very forgiving. And I talked about brick some on that first video. So if you missed the first one on red brick, go back and pick that up. Go ahead and watch it. Bricks are packed in in different colors. And then sometimes there's textures and stuff matted in or added to the edge. And so that's why none of our bricks are ever just totally the same. Is because there's there's just a lot that goes into each brick. And it's not always uniform. And we if we're going to make it uniform and cookie cutter, why not just slap something up there and paint it? Okay? And um, it, I just mean that it would be cheaper, okay? Our first house was not brick. Well, some of it was brick, but most of it was just um, board, wood. And so we did have to keep painting it. And I know a lot of people that do paint brick, but I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Anyway. And then I'm just going to knock that dark back some more. Leave some of it darker, some of it lighter. That's what's going to give it depth. Now the last color is going to be this 1083, and it's putty beige. And so you're already seeing how all of this is starting to come together. Now this time, as I come into the putty beige, it's my lightest color. So if I go over anything else, it's okay. This is what's going to finish off each brick. So at this point, just color the whole thing. You can go around your browns, not a problem. But I'm saying this is our last color. So if you're doing brown brick, at this point, anything that's not colored, gets colored or go back and pick up one of those other colors and come in and add to it. So yeah, I encourage y'all to start you a little notebook. Um, you can get just one of those little, it's a, I think it's a three prong with sleeves or three prong with um, pockets and they, they're in the school supply section, you get them at Walmart. Go to Wally's World, that's what we call it, Wally's World. And you can go get them there, they're really cheap. I think they're like a dime when they have back to school sales. Go get you a couple. You can put one for housing and nature. You can do one that's gonna be skin tones. I'm gonna to take off and do a whole series on skin tones before long. And um, I've already done a few in skin tones, so you could, those color alongs, you could put in there, go back, look up what colors you used, be sure you label them. And then that way, any time you need to see what you used, you just go to your reference notebook for that item. And you've got it right there. And you don't have to use all your precious coloring time on looking up colors and trying to match and trying to figure out, now what did I do there? Yeah, take notes as you go and do these color alongs and you'll be ready. All right, so see how fast that went? So here's the colors we used. And I'm gonna back this up. See if I can do this. Okay, so there's the whole page. And you'll be able to go from here. You know the lights and the darks and you know the colors. So um, 
look down in the comments. That's where you're going to pick up the coloring pages for this over on Etsy. And over on Etsy, I will link these videos back too so that they meet up and link with each other so that you can actually get going and get started on this. So, see, it took, um, what, 16 minutes or so? And we've already done that much. So, and I think that's a nice, a nice brown. And if you want them even browner, come back in and go over the whole thing with that brown. Look how that's knocking it some, just making it a little bit browner. But yet, because I'm going so light, I've still got all that texture in there. Okay, let me do another one. See here? Go over the whole thing. And now your brick is a little bit darker. Do you see how easy that is with the colors I gave you to use? And again, those conversion charts, or if you don't have that, just get out your own pencils and start just looking to see what looks close that you like because you don't have to use the exact same colors. Now, do you see how that's even darker? And the color sheet that comes with this, the bricks are actually even a little more of a tannish, not orange, but more of a tan. I actually like these better like this. But yeah, they're a little tanner, so you're going to see when you get that color copy that it's a little bit different. So, um, you know, that, that just shows you make it your own. Feel free to change up the colors. All right, so that's the way it was first. Now here it is, just a little bit darker. And it just depends on the look you want. So I'm leaving that one lighter. And then you can look. See, there's darker and then there's lighter. So it really just depends on the look you want. But anyway, that's it for now. Um, come back in a little bit. I'm going to go on to the next color.